guys, so we are going to be doing a recording. My mouse cursor thing keeps getting really, really weird every single time I record, but I guess there's nothing I can do about that. Anyways, the first thing I do, no matter what edit, is I change it to grayscale. Why? Because it gives it a better, clearer um, color. <clears throat> So I'm going to be doing this based on my uh, colors for my skin, and yeah. So basically what I do is, uh, first thing I do is I go on to Photoshop. What I do is I basically crop out um, the skin, and I uh, just... I, I color it in with all one color, and then I switch to paint tool sci. And when I get to paint tool sci, I will tell you what to do then. All right, so now that we are here at this point, um, what we basically want to do is uh, go over the skin, like you know, with a curving tool. And basically how you get the curving to it tool is you open new line work layer. You don't open just new layer on the paint tool side. You gotta open up new line work layer or else it won't you won't see it. So I'm gonna take the color of that of the skin currently and I'm gonna darken it considerably because you want it to be darker than the shades that you're going to be using um later on. Because otherwise it's going to mix in and it's not going to look that great. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go with my curving tool and I just uh, turned off that layer because I want to be able to see the actual skin parts. Because I mainly go over them with that unless I'm like redoing a, like skin completely and just going by guessing. Um this is where I tend to do different things like if I don't like certain parts of uh, the skin and I want to get rid of them but I'm just gonna keep it um, pretty uh, natural here so while I do this yeah So now that we have done all that on paint tool side, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do load selection with the whole entire skin thing. And we are going to scroll in and we're just going to do on normal. Basically, uh, we are going to take the next skin color, and that will be the slightly darker shade. And we're going to do some, like a little bit of shading. So, yeah. And what you want to do is just get like the natural shade like that you think would just be natural on an actual person or a drawing or whatever you like to be honest you I suggest not doing pillow shading not too much at least if you're gonna do like a slight bit of pillow shading do one side that's slightly smaller because it makes it so that the other side is more defined um, and also with clothing and stuff, you want to shade underneath that, um, so that it looks more natural, basically. So then we're just going to take the next shade, um, which is the darker shade. We're going to make a new layer, and we're going to go with a slightly smaller brush, and you're just going to keep shading naturally. Um, going underneath the same shade that you have been doing the whole time, um, and just darkening it over time. Now, right now, it looks okay, but still could, more work can be done, and yeah, so that's what we're planning on doing. Um, with this shade, you want to do more detailing stuff, um, like with lips, noses, uh, 
like the collarbones and all that stuff, uh, like going underneath where the natural shade would be. Um, Now we're going to take uh, the last color. I usually only use this last darker shade when I'm doing like m more shadows, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use that right now. Uh, right now we're going to make another layer and you're just gonna go over in the corners and areas that you think would have this natural shade and everything. Um, I actually tend to use it a lot more than I probably should, but I like how it turns out, and sorry about that noise in the background. Kittens are all over the place. Um, and yeah, you just pretty much doing the same shading areas, maybe a little bit more because there's different things now, and you just wanna like go over every single little detail you can. It takes a lot of work, but it also really pays out with your when your edit is finished and you see the finished. It just looks awesome. <laughs> now we're going to do highlighting. Um, basically, you're just going to take one of the lightest shades you can, but not completely white. And you're just going to go over the little details that you want to highlight. Now see, with the hands, I have them like that because I like highlighting them. Um, because I, I, it, it just gives it a better look in my opinion. Um, and so, basically you just go to the high points of things and just re, you know, highlight, fix some mis mistakes that you've done also. Uh, and also, smudging tool is your best friend. Learn that. <laughs> um, smudging tool helps a lot with a lot of things. It makes it look softer. It gives it, um, it it's, well, yeah, it basically just makes it look softer. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so basically, once you're done with all that, um, you might want to adjust some colors, uh, use smudge on some things, like maybe some of the shading to get a softer edge. Um, just basically do whatever you feel like, uh, fixing some places, all that stuff. Um, so I'm liking how this is turning out, uh, so I'm going to change the line work to multiply because it makes it around the same shade. Uh, I'm keeping it on the opacity it is on right now for while I work. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go over with your best friend, the smudging tool, and you're going to soft soften the lines because it gives it this more airbrushed feel to it. Um, don't worry if you mess some lines up, you can just go back and do it again, or you can fix it. It really depends on what you feel like doing. Um, you can leave it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna do this, and yeah. Alright, knowing your uh, line work is probably going to be a bit dark, you can keep it that way, or you can make it so it blends in more so on, all that stuff. Um, I'm just going to make it so it blends in a bit more. Um, so basically that's it. Um, you can keep working and you can do the same things with skit or with uh, clothing. I actually do the same things with skin, just a little bit different. Um, and I also... Uh, I don't do this with my hair because I use my tablet with my hair, but yeah. So here's some pretty simple skin. Um, this is it without all the background and everything. Uh, I really like how it looks and everything. So yeah. Uh, usually after you're done like with the eyes, if you want to have eyeliner on it, I would do it um, after you... Uh, 
merge the layers together and uh, all that stuff and then put it above it like say if I wanted to put it right here um, you would just do that and do however you want the eyelashes to be uh, you can use brushes you can just make them yourself so on um, but that's pretty much it so I hope this was a good video for you guys I hoped it helped a bit. Um, I'm probably going to be cutting out a lot of it because it's probably really, really, really long right now. Um, uh, so, like, I'll probably be cutting out the cutting and things, and yeah. So, yeah. Um, please like and favorite and subscribe, whatever. Uh, I'll be making more tutorials, so yeah.